Greetings and welcome to the most recent actor briefing for 2024, which may pique your curiosity. In this issue, we'd like to look at actor financing status, manufacturing goals, predictions for gravity, charging and EV price drops in today's new cars, as well as the political climate surrounding the EV industry. Now let's get going. In the heart of Manhattan, a few really quick EV chargers land. Aptera reiterates its need for further funding. Additionally, economists believe that innovation and raw materials may cause EV battery prices to plummet, along with EV prices. Find all of this and more at Green Car Reports. And research released today by Goldman Sachs predicts a sharp decline in the cost of EV batteries this year and the following year. The 40% reduction in EV battery costs could be largely applied to pricing, resulting in earlier price parity with petrol versions without the need for subsidies. Before we go any further though, if you find this content entertaining, do consider supporting this channel by liking it and clicking the subscribe button below. This will help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive new video updates whenever this channel uploads one. I'm grateful. Now, let's go on. Gravity, an EV charging business based in New York, says it is deploying the fastest EV chargers in the country. The new network states its DC hardware is ready for bidirectional charging. It takes up the same space as a level two AC charger and has higher charging power at the connector than Tesla superchargers. Furthermore, the management of its first facility in Manhattan avoids the need for grid modifications for the 24 stall installation. The startup car manufacturer after has stated in its most recent update that it still requires more funding in order to begin producing its solar-powered electric vehicle, EV, including the launch edition variant. That seems to go against what the firm stated earlier in February when it indicated that the proceeds from its most recent crowdfunding campaign were guarantee enough to fund the initial phases of production, and it probably means that the car won't be arriving until 2025. The Aptera 2 e is the perfect vehicle for you if you enjoy being the center of attention. Everywhere it goes, the two-seat, three-wheeled electric automobile attracts attention. On Tuesday, when driving the 2E through San Francisco's downtown, we noticed this. The car actually stopped traffic. Individuals gestured. They are the ones who. The Aptera 2 e is the perfect vehicle for you if you enjoy being the center of attention. Everywhere it goes, the two-seat, three-wheeled electric automobile attracts attention. On Tuesday, when driving the 2E through San Francisco's downtown, we noticed this. The car actually stopped traffic. Individuals gestured. They took some photos. What is it? And how much? Were there questions? A real question about whether you could drive it underwater was posed by one person. Perhaps unavoidably, someone else questioned, can it fly? It flies right past petrol stations in response from Aptera Motors president and CEO Paul Wilbur. The way the line came out, it seemed like he had used it before. Even though the two appears strange at first. We'll discuss that briefly. It's a real automobile that will roll silently into driveways before the end of the year. The two is comparable in size to a Honda CRX inside and a Honda Civic exterior. It can hold three sets of golf clubs or 22 bags of groceries, and comfortably sits two people. Wilbur is aware of this, having personally placed that many in there. Air conditioning and a navigation system are among the amenities. Because the rear window is so small, a night vision video camera gives you a 180 degree view of what's behind you. The production model will come equipped with front and side airbags, power windows, and power locks. Although the prototype we drove had accumulated some kilometers, it nonetheless generally exhibited the compact car quality, comfort, and fit that one would anticipate. You should never test drive a car in downtown San Francisco, especially if a chief marketing officer is apprehensive about you driving a $1 million prototype. However, the 2 ease handling and acceleration struck us as being similar to a Civic's. The car moves with authority once you punch it, but it takes some getting accustomed to because the accelerator pedal has a lot of travel. Despite lacking power steering and having a somewhat rigid ride, the 1000s 
700-pound vehicle handled well in traffic. The 2E has no gearbox. Instead, the motor powers the front wheels directly. You have three driving modes to choose from using a knob on the dash. D1 Maximus is ranged by limiting output. For everyday driving, choose D2. D3 provides more robust acceleration. According to Wilbur, the 2E can reach 60 miles per hour in under 10 seconds, matching the time it takes for the Civic and Toyota Yaris. Its maximum speed is 90 miles per hour. The vehicle, according to him, handles like a bat out of hell. It lacks any slack, Wilbur declared. It's completely flat. Wilbur was vague about the 2 e specifications because the vehicle is still under repair. The only information we have is that it is equipped with a 13 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. When you plug it into a regular 110 volt, 10 ampere outlet, it will recharge overnight. After four hours, you can connect that to a 220 volt, 30 ampere outlet and be ready to go. According to Wilbur, the battery should last 100 miles when two people, 250 pounds of luggage, and the air conditioner are all running. We're guaranteeing 100 miles of range, he stated. He estimates that the battery will be useful for six years, after which Aptera might sell them to wind and solar power companies as a means of storing energy. Regarding appearance, you'll either adore it or find it repulsive. Form is function in the 2E, it does not prioritize form over function. Its whole construction was geared towards maximizing efficiency and obtaining the most number of miles out of the battery. According to Wilbur, aerodynamics plays a crucial role in this since, at 55 miles per hour, an automobile needs to expend 50% of its power pushing air aside. You can lower your energy requirements by reducing drag. According to Wilbur, the engineers thought about converting the 2E into a traditional four-wheeler, but they decided against it as the extra weight and rolling resistance would have destroyed efficiency. He declared, we lost 34%. To recover that, the car would need a battery 50% bigger. Wilbur says the patented honeycomb composite material used to make that sleek body is six times stronger than steel. Although Wilbur says the 2D exceeds federal side impact and roof crush criteria, it is still undergoing crash testing. A production model won't be available for a few more months. Viewed from the front, it will appear slightly more square. A compromise made to expand the interior space and enable the windows to slide down. That's a wise decision considering the automobile we were driving was no more than cosy and had non-operational windows. The battery pack is housed in a sealed compartment beneath the seats, and the engineers have modified it to move it forward and move the center of gravity towards the front. According to Wilbur, the production car's front wheels support 70% of its weight, which is excellent for traction and handling. They also increase the ride height somewhat and push the front wheels 8 inches closer to the body.